Hi guys, good morning, happy Thursday. I'm gonna give you all a second to get onto the live and I'm just actually gonna turn off the comments. Um, so give me one second. There we go, just so that you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Hello guys, good morning. Cool, right, let's get started. So, um, some of you will have joined me last week um, and we ran through some postural exercises, all that help with pain management and pain prevention as well, um, mostly from my own experience. So, just to give a little bit of background about myself, I am the founder of Build and Breathe Pilates and um, the reason that I got into this kind of low impact style of Pilates was following a spinal fusion um, gosh, eight years ago, um, and that was to correct scoliosis. So it's been a long journey of managing chronic pain since then, so all of those eight years, and Pilates is something that I really use as my main tool just to help with my pain. So um, especially with working from home and hunching over our computers, I know a lot of you have been complaining of really, really sore backs. So that's why I've partnered up with Fit and Well to kind of bring these four sessions to you in the hope that we can help reduce some pain and just get you a little bit more active as well. So today we're going to be looking at our core. Um, so some people would see your core as just your abs, and um, some people see it as kind of your midsection, but I like to see it as anything that supports your spine really. So I like to include your glutes in there as well because it's all acting as a foundation for your spine to sit on the top of. So we're gonna be kind of tackling a bit of everything today. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is just take some big breaths. So I want you to place your hands onto your rib cage. And as we breathe in, we're gonna feel the ribs expand, feel your belly expand, get really big. Hold at the top and then push the air back out. Breathing in. Holding and pushing back out. Lovely. Keep taking those deep breaths. I'm just. <laughs> cool. Keep taking nice deep breaths. And pushing the air out. So we're going to take two more. Lovely, guys. And once you've done that last one, we're going to come down to the mat. So the only bit of equipment that we're going to need today is a little head block. If you don't have one like mine, then you can just use a, um, a cushion or whatever you've got handy, really. So we'll just pop that down. And then we've got that near us when we need it. We're going to come down to the floor. And we're just going to start with those deep breaths again. And what we want to think about is our diaphragm. So where we said that the core is kind of all around your trunk. We've got your abdominals at the front, we've got your obliques at the sides, we've got all sorts of muscles and connective tissue at the back. And then we've got the pelvic floor underneath and your diaphragm on top. So when we breathe in, our diaphragm pushes down and helps to compress the core. As we breathe out, it pushes up to push the air out of our lungs. And our core can get really nice and big. So just try and think about that as you're breathing now, as you breathe in. That diaphragm pushing down and then breathing out. When the diaphragm's pushing up, but you're getting some compression through your core. We're gonna take one more. Breathing in and pushing out. Lovely. We're now gonna have a think about the bottom of our core, our pelvic floor. So we're gonna do, and pregnant women will be very familiar with this, we're gonna do some pelvic floor squeezes and it's a little bit weird, it's not very natural. We're gonna try and get our pelvic floor to come up and forwards. So the best way to imagine this, sorry to be crude, is to imagine your rectum is gonna pull up towards your belly button. So try and squeeze it up and forwards, hold and release squeezing up as if you're trying to stop a wee, coming up and releasing. I'm gonna do that five more times. Squeezing up, it's really important to strengthen through your pelvic floor because often we over-engage, keep squeezing, we over-engage for our abs and that can lead to a weak pelvic floor. So we're just gonna try and get some movement through there, start to warm it up. We're gonna do two more, I know it's weird. Squeezing up and release and one more squeezing up and release lovely guys get your bottom moving to start the day 
So we're gonna come into some more movements. I want you to pop your hands down either side of your bottom. As we do this movement, I want you to be mindful of keeping your spine in a nice neutral position. So if at any point you feel like your back's arching, just tilt your pelvis up slightly and that's gonna to help to protect your lower spine. So we're gonna start by picking up one leg. We're gonna flex the foot and then we're gonna push that foot all the way towards the top of the wall in front of you. Pause at the end and then coming back in, planting it down. Other foot's coming up, flexing and pushing out. Coming back in, lovely. So we're just gonna keep switching between those two slides. Back in and swapping. You should be starting to feel this three abdominals at the front of your core, right of the lower abdominals. As that leg's coming away from you, your core is having to really fight to keep yourself nice and stable. So another way that we can start to trigger the engagement through our abs is as you bring that leg down, imagine it's resting on a lily pad so you can't put much weight on it at all. The second you lift that other leg, you should really feel that through your abdominals. Lovely guys. So we're gonna take two more on each leg. Picking up, flexing, pushing towards the front, and then bringing back in. Lovely. Coming up. Making sure you're evened up. We've got one more on each leg. Keep that tension through your abs, making sure you're not arching your back as that leg comes away from you. Lovely. Last one. Sliding away and back, lovely. Plant that foot back on the floor. We're gonna do another exercise that's looking at our position of our pelvis. So what I want you to do is find those two little hip bones at the front of your pelvis. They should be sticky out at the front and just hold on to them for this exercise. We're gonna start by taking our first leg, we're gonna flip it up towards the ceiling. So I want you to keep your thighs level with each other. So it's tempting to bring that leg a little bit higher, just to make it a bit easier, so keep them level. We're gonna drift that leg out to the side, only until you feel like you're really gonna fall off, and then pause, bring that leg back in, plant it down, and we'll flip up the other one and go on the other side. So we're just going to that point where you feel like you're going to off balance and you're going to roll over. The second you feel like you're going to fall, just stop, bring that leg back in and plant down. So throughout this whole exercise, we're trying to keep our hip bones pointing up to the ceiling. So that's why holding on to them is a really good reference point. The other thing to be mindful of is that leg that's staying bent. Imagine there's a string holding that knee up towards the ceiling. So it's not going to drop to either side, it's got to stay bolt upright throughout. Lovely guys, again you should be feeling this a little bit through your core as you're just helping yourself to stay stable and stop that pelvis tilting and rocking over to one side. Getting those stabilizer muscles keeping you in the middle whilst that leg comes out to the side. We're going to take one more on each side, so taking it nice and slow, nice and controlled. Lovely. And last one, coming up, out to the side, and back in. Fabulous. Plant that leg back down, take a deep breath, and just relax your core. And we're gonna come into another traditional Pilates position called tabletop position. So we'll start with just the one leg. So again, we're focusing on that neutral spine throughout. So we're not tilting upwards, we're not tilting down. We're just finding a nice neutral and you're gonna to have to find the best position for you. It might be quite hard to work that out. Um, so it's gonna just take practice over time to work out. So when we're ready, we are going to just pick up our first leg we're gonna keep a 90 degree angle under the knee. And I want you to get that knee hovering above the hip. So we're coming up here, you might feel a little bit of tension through your core, and then we'll plant that foot back down. Next foot's coming up, knees over the hip, 90 degree angle at the knee, and then planting back down. If you want to go for the double leg, we can come up, pause. Are the legs gonna come up and join it? hold and then we'll release back down 
And again, it's really important that you've got that neutral spine. So if you're finding your back's arching, it's really easy to hurt your lower spine. So if you do find that, just tilting your pelvis upward before you start is going to really help. But all of our bodies are unique, so just working out what you need and what's best for you. Keep on going between those two positions. Peeling up. And back down, or go with the single leg if easier, whatever you need. Keep on going. I'm just worried that something's going wrong with this broadcast, so let me just triple check. No, we're all good. Okay, we're keeping going with those legs. And when you're ready, we're going to take one more all the way up and all the way down lovely once you've done that last one we're going to bring knees together feet together and we're going to drop the knees over to one side your hips are going to follow we're going to try and keep our shoulder blades down on the floor pause at that side and then we're going to use the tummy muscles to bring those knees back up to the top pause and then drop over to the other side Pause here, so again our knees are dropping, our hips are rolling over, and then we're going to clench upwards, coming up to the top, and then we'll drop back to the first side. So keeping swapping between sides, just taking it really nice and relaxed. If you do want to step it up a level, we can add in a little leg extension. So same principle, we'll drop our knees over to one side, keeping those shoulder blades on the floor that top leg is then going to flip out so again keeping those thighs aligned we're going to roll ourselves back up to the top so knees are coming to ceiling and then we'll drop that foot back down and flop to the other side coming up drawing that leg up to the top and then releasing it back down lovely keep on going guys Dropping up, coming up to the top, popping down, and then over. Lovely. Only adding that leg in if you're comfortable with both your feet on the ground first. You should really be feeling this through your core. We're going to take it two more times on each side. Lovely, guys. Keep on going. And we're coming up for the last one on each side. Really using our tummy muscles to bring us up each time. Okay. Perfect, guys. Pop that leg back down and then we're gonna come into a single leg stretch. So to do this movement, we're going to start in that tabletop position again. So when you're ready, just getting that neutral spine, tilting your pelvis up if your lower back needs a bit of extra support. We're going to bring one leg up and then we're going to bring the second leg up. We're going to hug one knee up into our chest and the other knee is going to straighten towards the wall in front of us. The higher the leg is, the easier it's going to be. So if you need to bring it a bit higher, please do. We're then going to swap sides. And that should really start to pull on your lower abs. Keep swapping between sides. We're really working the whole core here as your body's fighting to keep you nice and stable. Lovely. Keep on going. You can slow it down if easier. I'm going quite fast. Lovely, guys. Keep grabbing that knee up into your chest, lengthening the other leg towards the wall in front of you. I'm regretting that bagel I had this morning now. Oh, it's going to come up. Lovely. We're going to take two more on each leg. Really lengthening from that toe. Last one. Make sure you're evened up. And then we're going to return to that tabletop position. Hands are coming down and we're going to carefully come one leg down, the other leg down. Big, big breath and release so we're just gonna undo any tension in the core by taking that big breath relaxing all of those muscles 
lovely and we're going to come into some bridges so anybody with a headlock underneath their head or a cushion whip it out because we're as we come up into that bridge you don't want you to put your neck into an uncomfortable position hands are going to come either side of our bottom and we're going to start by taking a tilt with our pelvis rolling a marble from our pubic bone up into our belly button we're going to roll up and then we're going to continue that motion from our lowest vertebrae we're going to peel up off of the floor vertebrae by vertebrae coming all the way up until we're in this full bridge position hands can stay on the floor clenching with your bottom under but we're not arching our back so you need a little bit of work going through the core as well and then we're going to reverse the movement so starting by the top vertebrae we're going to release back down to the mat coming all the way down and then finally releasing that tilt through your pelvis curling back up and we're going to come up again coming into that full bridge all the way up clenching your bottom and then rolling back down coming down to the bottom lovely keeping going guys pulling all the way up really trying to push your hips up to the ceiling but not arching the back so it's a gentle balance to find we're going to take four more of these so we're going to start to really feel this through our glutes so it's great to look at our core as a whole just because this movement's really good for supporting your glutes obviously but also working your whole trunk to keep you nice and steady I am taking these really slow because I want to get that good burn through your glutes and also challenge your balance over a longer period. Holding and coming down. I've got two more to do. Coming up. Squeezing. And coming down. And last one. Rolling up, squeezing up. Holding and coming down. Perfect, guys. Once you've done that last one, you should have a good burn through your bottom. So if you need to, you can clench one knee up, second knee up, and just give your lower back a bit of a release. Squeeze your knees up to your chest. And then when you're ready, we're going to come over onto our side. So this is where you're going to need your head block or your cushion or whatever you've got to hand. I'm going to pop that down and we're going to start with some leg lifts. So the legs are coming straight out towards the end of the mat. We are going to bring our bottom arm up across our chest, so keeping that elbow off the floor. Top hand's coming down onto the floor in front of us. We're going to point the top toe. We're going to lift that leg up towards the ceiling. Flex the foot and bring it back down. Pointing, lifting, flexing and bringing back down lovely guys so keep on going this is really working our glutes and our thighs and it's also challenging our balance so it's very tempting to roll forwards and backwards whilst we're moving our limbs around so you're going to have to just use your tummy muscles a little bit to keep you nice and stable if you're finding it too easy to balance you can maybe come up onto the tips of your fingers or even bring that hand off of the floor onto your hips to so see how you feel keep on going we're going to do four more extending flexing and bringing back lovely guys last two this should be really starting to burn now well done last one lovely once you've done that last one bend your knees up into your chest and we'll just give that glutes a little bit of a break and then we're going to straighten those legs back out arms are coming back into that starting position so bottom elbows off the floor top hands on the floor in front for support we're going to lift that top leg up to hip height point the toe and then we're going to float that foot forward so you should immediately feel the difference in throwing you off balance as that leg comes forwards rather than up and down we're going to flex the foot bring that leg back to center point float forwards flex back to center well done guys keeping going these are gonna get really tough so really use your tummy muscles to keep you 
on balance, making sure you're not rolling forwards or backwards as that leg moves. And if you're finding it really easy, then do clap onto tips of your fingers or bring that hand up onto your hip. We've got two more. Keep going, I know these are tough. Well done, guys. Perfect, once you've done that last one, bring your knees up into your chest, give your poor glutes a little bit of a break, and then we're gonna push up and we're gonna come up onto our forearm. We're gonna do some work through our obliques at the side of our core. So when you're ready, keeping those knees bent up next to your bottom, we're gonna pull our hips up towards the ceiling, coming up into a side plank. Ooh, there we go, coming up into that side plank. So we're gonna pull our hips up to the ceiling. We're trying to create as much space as we can underneath our body. If you're feeling really comfortable, we can pop out the top leg Maybe join it with the bottom one and come up into that full plank. When you're ready, we'll come back down. I always like to bend up my knees in between each one just so that we can focus on getting that real lift with our hips before starting again. So we only need to hold each one for about six to eight seconds. So maybe have a go at popping that top leg out. Maybe keep it in. Whatever you're doing, just really tensing through your obliques at the bottom and coming down. We're only going to do four more, so just pace yourself, see how you feel with those legs. If you can do both, that's amazing. It does start to really ache through your arm as well. Okay, last three. Pulling up. If you haven't tried already, maybe see if you can eke that top leg out. And back in. Lovely, we've got two more. Coming up. Creating that space underneath you. Adding in the legs if you want to. These are hard. Coming down and we're going to do one last one on this side. Pulling up. We've got a lovely stretch in a second, I promise. Popping out the legs if you're comfortable to. Keep squeezing underneath. Keep pulling those hips up to the ceiling. Last few seconds. And then we'll calm down. Head's gonna come on top of the block again. Knees are coming up by our chest. Arms are out on the floor in front and we're gonna do some chest openers. So we can start by drawing one hand up by our chest, that elbow's coming behind us. And we're gonna open the arm out onto the floor. Fold it back in and then come back round to the front. So you can see that my hips are staying still, but my head is rotating around and following that hand as it moves behind me. And that's isolating the stretch to our upper spine. If you want to, you can go with a straight arm variation on this one, so coming up all the way. Anybody with poorly shoulders, I'd recommend to stay with the first option. Okay, and the last one, we're just gonna imagine we've got some chalk in our top hand. We're gonna draw a big circle all the way up over our heads, all the way round, and finishing up over our knees. So just working with whichever option feels best for you. As with anything, just please listen to your body. So if something that I'm doing doesn't quite sit right with you, then you can just adapt it or take a little break, whatever you need. Lovely guys, keeping going. So what we're doing is we're really opening up through the chest. And I've put this in just as a little break from all of the core work. So this is just my favorite stretch. Lovely guys, keeping going. We're gonna take three more on this side. Feel free to mix up between the options. Keep those hips nice and still. Coming in for the last two. And last one. Make it a good one. Really stretch from the tips of your fingers. And back in. And we're gonna come straight over onto our fronts. So we're gonna do some fun core stuff. We're gonna do some planking. But before we do, we're just gonna work with a leg Hole, it's called. So I want you to come up into all fours. I want to make sure that your wrists are underneath your shoulders and your knees are underneath your hips. 
we're going to tuck our toes under and what I want you to imagine is that somebody's going to try and punch you in the stomach so you're going to suck up away from that punch. It's going to give you a little bit of tension for your abs, it's going to make sure that we're not arching our backs. Keeping yourself up on your tiptoes, we're going to very carefully, very slowly pull upwards and our knees are going to rise up off of the floor. Pause and then we'll lower back down. You should really feel that in your tummy muscles. Big breath and then we'll breathe out. Coming up. Lovely. And back down. We're going to take this three more times so you can add a nice Deep breaths if you want to, just to help release the core in between reps. And down. Don't worry about hovering your knees too high. Ideally, we're coming so the shin's parallel to the floor, but if you need to take it a little bit lower, that's fine. Coming up. Keep that eye line down to the mat. And we're going to take one more. Coming up. Hold. Well done. And release those legs down, untuck your toes, and we're going to come onto our bellies to do our levels one and two planks. So I want you to start with your feet just about hip width apart, so not massively wide, not too close together. And we're going to have our hands in a kind of sphinx position, either side of our body on the mat. Chest can come down to the mat, and then again, just think about somebody trying to punch you in the stomach, so we're going to suck up and away from that punch. If you can see that subtle up in my core. We're then going to push from our forearms and we're going to rise up onto our knees. Coming up, keeping that frame with your core, keeping yourself really nice and stable so we're not arching our backs. There's a straight line from my shoulders down to my hips. Got a little neutral bend in the spine, but we're not arching. Holding here should be quite tough. So we only hold for about six to eight seconds and then we gently lower down and then release that tension through your abs. Going again, I'll show you the next level. So sucking up away from that punch, rising up onto your knees and your forearms, keeping yourself nice and level. Watch my hips, they're not going to move at all but I'm going to add my legs in. So I'm going to tuck one toe under, bring that leg off the mat, tuck the other toe under, Bring that leg off the mat. This is really hard. Holding here should only be for about six seconds again. And then we'll pop one knee down, other knee down. Oh, and relax. We're going to do three more planks each. If you need to take a break, please do. This is heavy work. So just working to your own level, making sure to get that core correct and that frame correct before rising up. Adding in those legs if you fancy, keeping your hips still. And coming down, don't forget to breathe. Okay, we've got two more to do. If you've tried the legs and you don't fancy it anymore, that's absolutely fine. You can just come back to this level. I'm feeling a little bit like that this morning. And then we'll come down. And we've got one last plank to do when you're ready. Coming back into that sphinx position, make sure your elbows haven't drifted out to the side. Sucking up away from the punch, coming up, adding the legs if you want to, if you're feeling sadistic today. Okay, let's come down. Carefully bring one leg down, then the other one. Coming down. You can stretch right up and give yourselves a bit of a break if you need. And then we're going to come up into an all fours position. So just do give your wrists a bit of a break and your arms a bit of a shake if they need it. Because that's quite hardy stuff resting on your forearms. So coming up onto all fours, we're going to do a classic alignment exercise. So this is really good for your core just to balance out how you're feeling, how your limbs can move without your torso moving and just, yeah, getting that feeling for that neutral spine. So, we're gonna start with wrists underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips, and we're gonna do our legs first. So we'll start keeping those hips nice and level. We'll start by bringing one leg out behind us, stretching from the tips of your toes, 
and then coming back in. Next leg's gonna rise up, stretch from the tips of your toes, and come back down. If you're feeling confident, we can add in the arms. So making sure that your back is not arching as that leg comes up. So keep that nice frame, and then you can add in your arm. So my torso staying really nice and still, even though my limbs are flying around. Coming up with the next arm and down. Lovely. So we'll keep moving between each, keep alternating up and down. Lovely guys. I want you to also try and keep your eye line to the front of the mat. So making sure that we're not overextending our neck or dropping it down. Just keeping a nice alignment from your head through to your shoulders. Lovely, let's do two more on each side. Really stretching up, trying to keep those hips still. And down. Keep breathing. And down, lovely. Last one on each side. This is our last hardy exercise and I've got you some nice stretching to finish. And last one. And coming down, lovely guys, well done. Sit back, give your wrists a little bit of a break if they need it. And we're gonna come into some stretches Ooh, for our glutes. Oh no, we're not, we've got the other side to do, I'm so sorry. Sorry you nearly got away with that one. We're gonna grab our headlock and we're gonna do those leg exercises on our other side. Oh, you so nearly got away with that. Right, come down onto your side. We're stretching those legs back out to the end of the mat. We're gonna bring one arm up across our chest and so keep that elbow lifted off the floor and the other arms coming down to just give you that extra bit of support on the mat. We're gonna point the top toe, lift that top leg up to the ceiling, flex the foot and come back down. Pointing, lifting, flex the foot and come back down. Lovely, keeping moving at a nice steady pace. Lovely guys. All the way up and down, lovely. Nice guys, we're gonna take four more. If you're finding it really easy to balance, you can take that bottom hand off, maybe bring it up onto that hip, or if you need to have it there just in case, you can hover it off the floor. Lovely guys, last two. Should be starting to ache for your glutes now. So once you've done that last one, bring that knee up into your chest, give your glutes a little bit of a break. And then we're gonna straighten those legs back out. Bottom hand again is coming up across your chest. Top hand down on the floor for support. Top leg's gonna lift up to hip height. We're gonna point that toe, float the leg forwards. Just to the point where you feel like you're gonna off balance, flex the foot and come back to the start position. Pointing, floating forwards, we're keeping the leg at hip height this whole time and coming back. If you're finding it really easy to balance again, you can take that top hand off, maybe just hovering above the floor or bring it up onto your hip. Lovely guys, we're gonna take four more. Really push through, this is gonna to start to really hurt through your glutes. So push through. I promise we do have some nice stretching at the end. Last two. Well done guys. Last one. Okay, once you've done that last one, bring your knees up into your chest. Give your glutes that little break again and then we're going to come up onto our forearm and we're going to do our side planks on this side. So we're going to start with our knees up in line with our bottom, coming up onto our forearm, so elbow in line with our wrist. Top arm can be on the top hip or down on the floor and we're going to start by pulling our hips up to the ceiling, creating as much space as we can underneath our body. Pull those hips up and release back down. Coming up again curling up and we've got those different options so we can pop that top leg out see how it feels or maybe join it with the bottom one again just please take this at your own level so don't worry about joining with both legs out if you're more comfortable sticking here it's absolutely fine 
Love you guys, see how you go. Squeezing through your obliques on the bottom side. Coming down, we've got four more, so just pace yourself here. Maybe you can have a go at popping out that top leg. See how it feels. Maybe popping out the bottom one. Keep those hips pushing up if you are. And coming down, we're only holding for about six seconds on each one. I like to bring my legs back in, like I said before, just so that I can get that real reach with my hips in between reps. And I've got the last three. Maybe you can pop that top leg out. Bring it in. See how you feel. Last two. Pushing up. Legs if you fancy. Don't forget to breathe. And coming down. This should be really getting your core by now. Pulling up from those hips right up to the ceiling. Top leg and bottom leg if you want to. This is the last one, so push yourself. And we'll come down to the mat. Head's going to come onto that block. Knees are bent up next to our bottom. Hands out in front and we'll do those chest openers on this side. So the first option we can do, and this is great for anybody with sore shoulders, is just to bring one arm up to your bra strap. Opening out the arm if you're comfortable too and then folding it back in and coming around to the front. So my hips are staying still. I'm watching that hand as it goes behind me. And coming back. Lovely, we can go for a straight arm variation so we can go all the way over. Again, following that hand with your head but keeping your hips still. And back. Or we can do our chalk circle. So imagine we've got that little bit of chalk on our forefinger and we're going to draw a circle all the way up, all the way round, and finishing up over our bottom. So whichever option you're doing, again, just taking at your own speed. You're free to mix up whatever options you fancy. So just taking this at your own pace. And we're going to take three more on this side. Really reach from the tips of your fingers, enjoy the stretch. This is my favourite one, I literally do it every single morning when I get up. So good for you, just to release those shoulders. And this is your last one, coming all the way up and round, if you're doing the circles. Finishing up, lovely, and now we are going to get into some stretches. So if you come over onto your front, we're going to come into a stretch for our glutes. So I just want you to twist towards one side of your mat. We're going to keep that front leg bent up so our shin is parallel to the top of the mat. Pop your weight in front of you and we're going to swing that back leg round behind us so that it's nice and straight out behind. We've got the first leg still bent up in front of us and you should be feeling a stretch through the glutes on that front leg. If you want to, you can then bring your body weight down over that leg and just enjoy this stretch. We're going to hold for about half a minute here. So just taking really nice deep breaths. Lovely guys, keeping holding. I promise that's it for exercises today. There's not another side that I've forgotten. So we are just going to do some stretching to finish now. My arms are like shaking, holding me down. Well done guys for all of that, that was a lot today. Okay, we've got 10 seconds left. Just lower your chest down, teensy bit more if you can't feel that stretch anymore. Keep taking those big belly breaths. Okay, when you're ready, we're going to swap our legs over so we can do this in a really nice fancy way. So we can come up so our chest is rising off the floor. We're going to tuck our back toes under, lift that leg up off the floor. We're going to swap the front leg back so we're coming into a quick plank. Our other leg's going to come forwards and into that stretch again. So again, we're aiming to get that front shin parallel with the top of the mat. And if you're comfortable too, we can lean down over the front of that leg, just feeling the stretch through that glute on the front leg. And taking nice deep breaths. We're holding here for about half a minute as well. 
you might be feeling this stretch down the front of the back leg as well, which should be really nice release from sitting at your desks. And we'll do a lot of hip releasing work next week as well. Okay guys, when you're ready, we are just going to come out of this stretch, so just bring your chest up towards the floor, and we're going to swap that leg back, so we're in all fours position, just sit yourself back and we're going to twist over onto our backs. If you do need a head block here, then please grab one, so that's only if you find your chin dropping up towards the top of the mat. If your chin's normal and just pointing up and your neck's fine, don't worry about adding in a cushion. So we're going to straighten our left leg down towards the end of the mat and with our left hand we're going to grab the right knee. We're going to twist that right knee over the top of our body coming down towards the floor and our right hand is then going to reach out behind us and we're going to look towards that right hand. So we're getting a lovely stretch down through our lower back and just taking nice deep breaths and again we're going to hold here for about half a minute in total and then we'll swap to the other side. So really feeling this down through your lower spine, anchoring that leg over with that top hand. Taking nice deep breaths whilst you're here. Last 10 seconds. Okay, when you're ready, we're going to carefully bring that leg back up to the centre. We're going to swap the legs over, so straightening the right leg, bending up the left leg. Right hand's coming on top of that left knee, and we're going to draw that knee over our body. Left hand's coming round behind us, and we're going to look towards that left hand. So again, really feeling that stretch from your lower spine, just gently anchoring that left knee down with the right hand. And we're holding for about half a minute here as well. Nice deep breaths. Okay, last 10 seconds. Keep holding, keep that twist going. Lovely, guys. Okay, we're just going to release that leg. We're going to stretch that leg out towards the end of the mat. We're going to reach up with our hands up over our heads and just take a full body stretch from the tips of your toes and the tips of your fingers. Nice deep breath and then when you're ready we're going to roll over onto our side and come up into a seated position. So pushing yourself up, taking the time to come up and we're going to sit with our legs out in front of us, so one leg's coming out, other leg's bending in, so coming towards our thigh. We're going to twist our torso towards that straight leg, and we're going to take a fold over the front, so we're aiming to lead with our chest towards our ankle. Coming down, you should feel a stretch down the back of your hamstring, but also you might feel a release through the back, at the lower point of your back. And we'll take nice deep breaths here. Love you guys, keep breathing. We're going to hold here for another 10 seconds and then we'll swap to the other leg. Okay, when you're ready, just bring yourself back up from that leg, swapping the legs over so other legs coming out nice and straight. First leg's coming in towards the thigh. We're going to rotate our torso towards this leg and again folding over so that our chest is aiming for our ankle. Now with my fusion I can't do this side very well so I'm just going to pop one hand down behind me, you're welcome to do the same. And we're just folding, leading with our chest towards the ankle. And again just keep holding, got about 20 seconds here. Really feeling that stretch down the back of your thigh through your hamstring. Feeling a little bit of a release through your lower spine. Okay, 
you take one last big breath here. And then we're gonna peel ourselves back up, just coming into a comfortable seated position. Whatever feels best for you, keeping your chest nice and tall. And then I always finish with some big, deep breaths and a shoulder shrug. So we're gonna breathe in. Shrug those shoulders up next to your ears and then release back out. And another one, breathing in, shrugging up. And releasing out. And last one, big breath in and release that breath, have a little shimmy and we're all done. So I hope you enjoyed that, let me know if you did. Um, I'm over on Build Breathe Pilates if you want a little bit more. Um, but otherwise we will be here next week with some lower back and hip releases. Um, so also still looking on the theme of pain management and prevention, just focusing on our lower body. So I will hopefully see a few of you then um, and have a lovely week until we do. All right, thank you so much guys for joining. See you later.